Has this error code ever appeared while editing photos in Lightroom? It's really annoying and it's basically telling you that you've got no more space on your hard drive. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing with you guys how you can optimize your Lightroom catalog to save a huge amount of space on your computer so this error code never appears again. And I'm gonna start right now. Before we start, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay in the loop and be notified when we release new videos. Now how Lightroom works versus other editing programs is it creates a small preview file of your main raw image. Now this isn't your raw photo because that might be saved on an external hard drive. This is a small little file that basically helps Lightroom boot up a little bit quicker when editing your photos. But by default, it will never ever delete this particular small preview file. So if you've got hundreds of thousands of photos on your Lightroom catalog, it will always save that little preview file. You might not even have those photos anymore, for example. I've got hundreds of thousands of photos that I've edited, but not all of them are on my Lightroom catalog. But those preview files are still saved. So today I'm gonna to be showing you three ways on how you can significantly reduce your overall Lightroom catalog and save a huge amount of space on your hard drive. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and optimize our Lightroom catalog. To do this, simply go ahead and open up Lightroom. Then what we're gonna do is go up to where you can see it says file and drop down to where you can see it says optimize Lightroom catalog. Now all this will do is it will just simply optimize it by re basically reducing certain file sizes and just overall improving the overall performance of your computer. It will reduce your Lightroom catalog by about three or four gig if you've got lots of photos, which isn't a significant amount, but it can help up definitely increase the overall performance of Lightroom. So that's the very first thing I recommend doing. It takes several minutes. Simply go ahead and click optimize. Lightroom Classic will restart and hopefully Lightroom Classic will run a little bit easier as well as saving a small amount of space. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna select all of our photos and basically discard these one-to-one -one previews, the thing that's taken up the most amount of space on our hard drive. To do that, go to where it says all photographs. You can see I've got 62,997. And what you wanna do is select all of them. So I'm gonna go up to edit. I'm gonna go down to select all. So selecting every single photo in my Lightroom catalog. Then I'm going to go to library. I'm gonna drop all the way down to where you can see it says previews. And I'm gonna go ahead and click discard one-to-one -one previews. And it'll pop up with this dialog box. And this is the most important thing. When full-sized data is needed again, it will be retrieved by reading the file. So we're not deleting any settings or any exposure changes or any presets. We're deleting basically the cache information of every single photo. And this is where you'll be saving the most amount of data. For example, in my, in, when I did it, my particular Lightroom catalog was 150 gig. Then when I did this, it reduced it down to 50 gigs. So I saved over 100 gigabytes of data simply by deleting my cache information inside my Lightroom, which is around 10% of my overall hard drive space of my computer. So I was incredibly happy when I did this. If you've got a slightly larger file size, then you might have an even more large difference. But if you've only got a few photos, it might only reduce it down by a small amount. But for me, 100 gig, which was an extreme amount, especially for a hard drive like myself, because data is expensive. So all you need to do is simply go ahead and click discard. Now I've just recently done that, so I'm not gonna do it again, but it will save a huge amount of room. And the last thing we're gonna be doing is actually basically deleting old backups. Now every single time you open up Lightroom, it will probably say, would you like to back up? And you'll probably click yes, and then simply move on with your day. But again, by default, it will never delete those backups, which is good and bad but we don't need those backups from maybe five years ago because you're never gonna be needing them again. So that is what we're going to optimize. And again, we can delete them, saving around about 10 to 15 gig on your computer. To do that, all you'll need to do is simply go up to where it says Lightroom Classic. Then what we're gonna do is go down to where it says Catalog Settings. Now inside here, this is gonna be your general information and this is where Lightroom Classic is saved on your computer. All you need to do is simply go ahead and click Show. And what it'll do is it'll pop up with a box, mine's on my other screen, and it'll pop up, this is where Lightroom is saved. Now you've got a file here called Backups and you can see I've got a lot of backups here which are quite old. This one here is from the 7th of January, 2024. I'm not gonna be needing that because that's over 10 months ago. So all you need to do is go back all the way, what ones you wanna delete. So I'll delete all the ones up till August and you can see those 26 folders are 14.6 gig. So all you need to do now is delete them. And I've just saved 15 gig on my hard drive simply by deleting backups, which I was never going to use anyway because I've got backups that are more recent. 
So there are three things that you can do to firstly optimize your Lightroom catalog, delete or discard one-to-one -one previews, and also delete old backups that you never need to use. And for me, I saved around about 175 gigabytes. So you can see you can save an extreme amount of space simply by removing stuff you weren't using in the first place.